hello and welcome back to my channel slash welcome if this is your first time here wow my channel i've been wanting to say that for over a year like i've been wanting to make a youtube channel for over a year and i finally did it in quarantine so thank you to quarantine life for that um there's two things i'm really excited about today one being that i'm making my second video and two that i put on my lashes by myself now don't pay attention to this lash because I didn't put enough glue. This was my first time putting on lashes by myself. So I didn't put enough glue so now it's sticking out. But this one, like, come on, people. It looks, I'm basically a makeup artist. So, I mean, stay tuned for me launching my side hustle. No, I'm kidding. I can never be a makeup artist. I'm not anywhere talented for that. But anyways, so today's video is going to be short and sweet. Um, it's going to be similar to what I did for my first video and give you guys 13 things that I've done slash in the process of doing that I found really take up a little bit of my time and also um, make me feel really organized and accomplished for the day. Um, I know last Monday I was feeling like I had my limit with quarantine. I was really starting to get annoyed and irritated easily. Um, so throughout the week I wrote down in my journal um, some things that I was that worked for me that I want to share with other people. Number one, clean out your email. So whether that's your professional email or your personal email, just clean it out. Go through old like junk mail, go through like emails that like you don't need, for example, store emails and also unsubscribe to all these store emails because I've just, I was doing so well budgeting and then I just hit a spiral. And I just started buying things left, right and center and I really didn't need it. So I need to like, take a step back and unsubscribe from all of the stores emails like you don't need that shirt from maritzia girl like you really don't need it if you need it get it at h&m that's half the price you don't need to be spending 80 dollars okay vivian you don't need to be spending 80 dollars you got it okay now that's settled but i'm being serious go through your email file it so like i have everything filed from like important email family health school um whatever just get that organized you'd be so surprised at how fulfilled and happy you're going to be after that the second one is clean out your social media like go through a social media detox i can't tell you the embarrassing tweets i had to delete today i actually did it this morning i deleted tweets from like when i first got twitter a couple years ago and i was like and i was like grammar that doesn't even make any sense and as someone who works in like marketing and public relations we know and we've been told that our Twitter accounts get like audited by our company. So I don't know if that's the case for you, but just go through it. Go through your embarrassing Facebook pictures from like 2012 where you were like drinking a bottle of Vex at a party. Like, no, you don't need that on the gram and if you don't need that on social. And if you really want that picture, just save it on your desktop and print it out and laugh about it in like 10 years. But get it off the Internet. Um, and you'd be surprised at how long that's going to take you. And then you're going to go through this phase where you're going to start unfriending people. Like, do you really need to be following that person that was in your first year university class who you've literally never spoke to since first year, first semester, and they have access to all of your personal life? Probably not. Delete them. I went and deleted like 50 people this earlier this week, which for me is a lot. Um, so that's definitely something that I recommend. Number three clean out your washroom and your skincare and makeup drawers. So I went and I cleaned out underneath my sink and I had, I've thrown out, I'm not even kidding you, six empty, not empty, full, six skincare products that A, were either expired or B, I haven't used in like four years and they were just taking up space. I just dumped it and I couldn't even donate them because A, they were expired. So I'm not gonna give someone expired skincare. And then just recently, earlier on this week, I went through my makeup drawer and I organized it I found these lashes that I put on and I like formulated a pile of makeup that I'm going to be giving to my mom's friend that's not expired but that I don't wear so why keep it um but it felt it gave me such fulfillment to do that so I definitely recommend if you have the time and if you even have a makeup drawer or a skincare drawer to do that and clean your washroom it, it's quite disgusting if you, if you leave it for without cleaning for like a week and a half which I do sometimes sorry um then i would say edit your finances uh so this goes back to what i was saying last week i have so many great books that i've been reading um happy go money I, I know i keep referencing it but really that book is awesome um so i definitely recommend you to buy it if you can it's not sponsored <laughs> imagine one day someone sponsors my youtube videos that'd be so exciting um 
oh, that would be so cool. Anyways, it's not sponsored, but what I did was I went and I printed out um, my visa statements for the past six months and for the past year, and I kind of formulated a budget for that. Um, so like I mentioned in my previous video, I deleted, I like I deleted, I got rid of like my Spotify sub sub subscription, I got rid of my Fat Fit Fun subscription, um, like anything that you're not using and that is not a necessity, unsubscribe for it. You really don't need all those products if you think about it. Um, and also I've created a budget spreadsheet for myself where when quarantine is over, I noticed that I spent I don't even want to say how much money about a thousand dollars at starbucks last year i know that like, it hurts me to say that out loud it really hurts but anyways i spent roughly a thousand dollars at starbucks last year and now i know starbucks is not something that's i don't need it daily and that's only going to be if i really deserve it and i now that i really think about it i actually really don't like starbucks coffee sorry to anyone who likes starbucks coffee and works at starbucks that's my personal choice i just don't like it but i yet i spent a thousand dollars roughly at Starbucks last year so I did that by going through my finances with a fine comb and really going line by line and seeing where I'm spending most of my money from my phone bill was another big thing I was paying for voice like for Rogers like when someone leaves me a voicemail like auto like it would text you the voicemail before calling it like why am I paying $11 a month for that you can it takes 12 seconds to just call your voicemail so I cut that off my phone plan just little things like that that really do add up um, so definitely recommend you doing that and honestly it, it'll make you really upset to know how much money you have spent on unnecessary items but better to catch it now than later um, so that's just my like what I did um, clean out your computer and back everything up so every month I, I back up my computer into my external hard drive and I always delete 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 old old documents from my laptop like I don't need my philosophy papers that I wrote in fourth year university a, because I'm not doing a master's in philosophy, um, and B, because my writing was really not that great. I don't know how I finished university with the marks I did, because I, I, I was reading the back, I'm like, oh, there's a grammar error there. Um, but yeah, so like, go through your computer, go through all any old music that you have from like LimeWire, SoftWire, if they, like, I still had a playlist from LimeWire. I think that was it and I deleted it and I'm like, okay, and if I really wanted any of those songs, I'll just add them back on Apple Music. But Anyway, just delete old documents and back everything up. Um, I always use software updates if you have an Apple product, um, like a MacBook. It's there's no worse feeling, and this happened to me once where I lost everything because my backup, my up software upgrade went sour, south went south, and it was really upsetting because it had all my pictures on it. So back everything up. If you don't have an external hard drive, Amazon has like a few of them for like 20 bucks. Get one, back everything up and do it now because chances are you're watching Netflix and while you're watching Netflix, you could just it could just be backing up. This is your reminder to do that. Um, read a book. That's another item. It doesn't have to be a professional development book. It could be any book. It could be romance. It could be a mystery. It could be a cookbook. Like just read something like don't like maybe one night instead of watching tv or watching netflix if you can grab a book um any book that you i'm sure you'll have anything in the house just grab that if not listen to an audiobook and that way your brain is um functioning properly okay not your brain is functioning properly but you're <laughs> you're reading something that's and it's different than watching a show that we're just gonna leave it at that because it just anyways yeah then um, I said uh, one of the other things is organize a drawer so pick a drawer that you neglect yearly monthly weekly whatever so whether that's like your workout gear whether that's your like your underwear drawer um, whether that's your makeup drawer pick it and just make that your project for the day and just just do that like, be, like today I'm going to tackle my makeup drawer and you're going to do it today I'm going to tackle my under like underwear drawer and just do it and you'd be surprised like either you'll throw stuff out you'll find new things um and you'll get it organized and you'll feel like you accomplished something that day and it's all about those little accomplishments that really make you feel good especially during a time like this where there's such anxiety and un uncertainty that you're living with <sighs> My, i've lost track of how many things i've said but another item to do is do something for your parents or siblings so is there anything that your mom or your dad need help with around the house do you need to vacuum do you want to um, I don't know, help your brother with a with a school project if they're in high school, elementary school, or even in university. Um, so see if you can help them. If you can't help any of your family, help. See if any of your friends need help. Like, does your friend need help um, with her website that she's launching? Does your other friend need help, um, I don't know, maybe with ideas about 
a new logo that she's designing, whatever it is, see if anyone around you needs help because that way then you're connecting with someone that you may have not connected with um, that day. And also you'll feel fulfilled by giving back to, to someone that you love. So for me, like I vacuum the house every week and I secretly love it. Um, and it helps my mom out because she has bad knees. So that kills two birds with one stone. Um, another one, vacuum under your bed, speaking of cleaning. Okay, so last weekend, I'm going to tell you something disgusting. I decided, let me just like take a peek under my bed. It was gross, the amount of dust. First of all, no wonder I have centipedes that like pop up like occasionally every six months to like scare me. It was so disgusting. And then I also found a Google Home that was unopened. This is the one I had in my Instagram story like a year ago and I like forgot again that I had it. So anyways, I opened it and it's somewhere my room over there but anyway so I found it and I hooked it up and I was like "Ooh, what a win and I also found like a dress hanger um and it had dressed like everywhere on the velvet it was so grossed out so that's something clean under your bed dust it if you have wooden floors and vacuum it if you have a carpet you'd thank me later but also um like wear a mask maybe because I was sneezing like uh, for like a an hour after it was disgusting um Another thing is write out things that you're thankful for. So I wrote out things here that I'm thankful for. So like my family, my health, my house, my job, my bed, my boyfriend, my car, my clothes, like anything, honestly. Um, the ability to make this video, the ability to have a smartphone, um, the ability to read a book, the ability to have my, like my sight, my, my vision, like my vision, my, I mean sight, vision, same thing, my anything. Like what are you thankful for? You have so much to be thankful for even while we're in quarantine. So make that list um now make it in a week constantly make it if you need to um i started a habit challenge with a girl that i really admire her name is trisha if you're interested in joining her habit challenge she didn't tell me to say this but i, I feel like she wouldn't care if anyone enjoyed it but she one of her habits for me is um write down three to five things every morning that you're grateful for and stick to it so all a best practice for you to do that as well um the second last thing yeah so 13. So 11th item on my list is write down a list of things to do in the future when quarantine is done. So for example, I bought a keyboard. I don't really know why I bought a keyboard, but I did because it was on sale. See, stupid. Vivian. This was pre-quarantine. Vivian buying things because they were on sale. Like, I don't need a keyboard. I have a computer. Anyways, I mean, I have like a laptop. I don't need an extra keyboard. Anyways, I bought it. So now I have to return it. So I wrote return keyboard. Um, I need to go get vitamins. So I wrote like get vitamins. And these are things that aren't urgent right now for me, but I made a list of things I want to do when quarantine's done. Um, I have to mail back something. So I wrote down mail back X, Y, and Z. Um, so just make a list of things that you need to do that have come up after quarantine. And like, yes, write down that you need to get your eyebrows done because I need to get my eyebrows done so bad. Write down anything, but just write it down so you don't forget it. And that way when quarantine's done, like if you have to go drop off stuff at the dry cleanings, you can you can do that and feel accomplished even after this whole quarantine is done. I said quarantine 10 times in the last like minute. Um and then the last thing okay no I lied to you. I have two more things. Um wash your sheets. Did I say that? I feel like maybe I didn't maybe I did. I'm gonna re-say it again. Wash your sheets. Um when you're in quarantine like we've been i need to stop saying quarantine you just lie on your bed and watch netflix read a book i don't know do whatever sometimes like if you're gonna go to the grocery store and like forget to take off your clothes that you wore out you're gonna come inside with those clothes lie on your bed just wash your sheets you're gonna feel so good if you do it like for me tomorrow i'm gonna be doing my sheets and then changing them and then getting into bed and enjoying it and then the smell is the best smell in the world for like two days and then it goes back to smelling normal but anyways wash your sheets and then the last thing I want to say is make a new list of goals for 2020. So I had every year I make a list of goals. So this year I made 20 goals for 2020 and they're not all like, oh my God, start a company and be a millionaire. But they're the goals that I've been wanting to do for a while and my YouTube channel was one of them. So check. But another one was, you know, um, go to Italy this summer and, and chances are that's, I mean, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to Italy this summer. So it's okay to have to you know, take a step back and reevaluate your goals. So if you've made goals that you feel like you're not going to be able to accomplish this year just because of the situation that we're currently living in, make a new set of goals. And they don't have to be 20. They can be two. They can be one. They can be 10. Like it can be whatever you want. But sit down and write those goals because realistically, we're only in May. You still have about seven months left. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oof. 
so good at math. You still have about seven months left of the year. So it's your year still if you really want to make it. Everyone keeps saying 2020 is canceled. I've said that before, but really like you can take a step back and be like, it's not canceled because if you put your mind to it, you can change the headspace that you're in and revamp the outcome for the rest of the year. Does that make sense? Yes, I think so. But yeah, so those are just kind of like some tips that I've really been enjoying completing and it makes me feel accomplished and fulfilled and not bored and I really think that if there there's some minor ones or some major ones but take whichever one that you might find and uh, try it and also tell me if you enjoy it in the comments below my YouTube channel wow anyways so exciting and I also got a ring light that's why like my face looks so fresh and also I ran out of foundation in Sephora is sending me my package so now I'm wearing my 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 summer shade and I'm orange and then like pale so like look at that anyways not that anyone cared about that but I still said it um but yeah so I hope these help I also made a checklist physically so in the pdf file so if you want it just comment your email below dm me or message me and I will be glad to give it to you um, I'm also going to be filming a really, really cool video this week. I'm just waiting on one more item to come in. Um, so stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks, everyone. God bless you all.